so I'm working on my Seabird Disco and I just finished replacing all the large capacitors on the amplifier and this is a SHP3 amplifier and I replaced all the large electrolytics and checked it and it's fine um, these two are dummies I just didn't take them out because they were riveted in so actually there's new capacitors inside that I replaced those now it's time for me to check out the control center which is this unit right here this is a, uh, a PCC1 which is a phono control center which is new compared to the previous model which was a, a digital control center that was a DCC uh, so I'm going to open this one up there's a lever right here that once I turn this it's going to allow this to pivot down and out so I just got to unplug the various plugs at the front of it and we'll uh, get inside and see so what I've removed like. the PCC1 control center from the Seabird Disco and this is the uh, back side of it I'm just got it sitting here and I uh, want to check all the electrolytic capacitors to see if they're good and what their ESR is so uh, I'm starting with these two little orange ones here and these ones are actually um, 7UF 20, um, 25V bipolars or in the old terminology is NP for nonpolar which means it's not a there's no plus or minus on these two compared to the rest of these they got a little arrow see a little arrow on there which means these are regular polarized so that's these are all polarized capacitors uh, except for these two here so never replace a bipolar capacitor with a regular plus minus polarized or else you give a problem alright so I hooked this one up with my alligator clips to my Atlas ESR the, my brother's Atlas ESR and it says uh, Capacitor 6.83 UF and ESR is 0 0.15. So this is a 7 UF, so that's well within the tolerance, and the ESR is okay, so that's a good capacitor. And I'm just going to continue on checking the rest of these. All right, so that's the last of the electrolytic capacitors. I've checked all of them now, and uh, they all register within their limits and the ESR is low on all of them so all these capacitors are good don't need to check them uh, the little the ceramic or the uh, yeah ceramic capacitors these round ones I can't check with this because they're too low a value so I'm just going to assume those are okay alright so I checked all the electrolytic capacitors those are fine just taking a look at the uh, fuses here and someone's been kind enough to actually label these fuses that this one is a, uh, a 1.6 amp slow blow and this is a 7.5 amp fast blow they look fine I'm looking at the board I don't see anything charred or browned which typically shows you if a, uh, a part has failed seriously obviously it's not the best way of knowing but it's a quick and easy way of looking at I'm just looking at everything and um, it all looks fine so this passes my quick visual and uh, capacitor check